from discovering gold out of nowhere to finding a maze of tunnels, Riklagina could not believe the complexity of this mysterious new find. In one episode of their show, The Curse of Oak Island, things got pretty serious. The team faced a big problem at a place called the Money Pit. It's like a deep hole where they think treasure might be hidden. This problem was so bad that it could have stopped their treasure hunt for a very long time. In a specific episode called Voyage to the Bottom of the Sen out in Season 6, Marty Lagina, another treasure hunter on the team, got a bit too excited. He shouted, here we are in H8. We're gonna keep looking, everyone was pumped up, not realizing that trouble was incoming. Gary Drayton found something interesting, maybe a metal nail or spike. Everyone got hopeful, thinking they might have hit the jackpot and found the original money pit. But, you know how they say, don't celebrate too soon. Suddenly, things took a bad turn. The ground around the metal object started sinking and disappearing into the muck. Imagine your hope sinking like a rock in water. The gold sampling of the water and now the wood is probably the thing that might carry the day this year. I mean, that was the hope. It was always the hope that it would lead to a location where we could do some exploratory drilling or digging, and hopefully find the one thing. The team had to stop everything and figure out what was going on. Rick Lagina, always ready to get his hands dirty, took a closer look. He said, that's not good. The situation was troubling and he added, there's a decent chance that the entire money pit area may collapse. And it was intriguing enough. It was odd enough that we thought we would have to see what this thing's all about. It was like their dreams of finding the buried treasure and historical artifacts were hanging by a thread. Later on, Rick shared his worries saying, All this hard work, all the research, and it might come down to us not being able to continue. I'm worried. These words were especially serious coming from Rick, who is usually the more hopeful one among the Lagina brothers. So, in a nutshell, the team went from being super excited about a potential discovery, to facing a major problem that could bring their whole treasure hunt to a screeching halt. It's like going from a thrilling adventure to a nail-biting suspense story in the blink of an eye. In a recent TV show episode, the team had a big shock when they found a possible piece of bone in the money pit. Now, Everyone's wondering if they can keep going and find the hidden treasures, or if this discovery means the end of their search. That has to be contextual with the fact that in Nova Scotia, the maritime history there, conquistadors, pirates, privateers, Captain Kidd, there's this belief that treasure was deposited there. The Lagina brothers, who are the main guys on this treasure hunt, just found something super important in the famous Oak Island money pit. And let me tell you, it's not just some regular thing they found. Terry Matheson, the rock expert, and Charles Barkhouse were sitting tight, keeping a close eye on a deep hole they were drilling, aiming for a rich zone about 80 to 120 feet down. They were in a race against time, all excited, with the whole team gathered around watching as the drilling machine went deeper into the ground. Out of the blue, Mike Tedford, the drilling pro, dropped a bombshell. He hit something important around the 90-foot mark. It wasn't gold, but it was a big deal, a real game changer. Charles and Terry were over the moon, thinking about all the possibilities. They bombarded Mike with questions, wanting to make sure he really found an empty space at the 90-foot depth. And guess what? Mike said yes. There was a big, empty space down there. This was mind-blowing news, making everyone realize they were at a crucial point in their search. Charles thought they should get Rick and Marty, the leaders of the team, involved. Their experience and guidance were more important than ever. If the treasure is as historically important or grand as the works that hide it would suggest, I can guarantee you there will be multiple claimants. And here's the kicker. The whole team was totally on the same page, not wasting any time. Charles grabbed the phone and called up Rick and Marty. The Lagina brothers didn't waste a second, 
rushing to the spot with so much excitement it was contagious. Rick couldn't contain his excitement that day during the money pit drill program. He was thrilled because the DN 11.5 coordinates had landed right in the middle of a treasure zone. Imagine the rush of excitement they all must have felt. The hope is that when we go down in the shaft, our senses will be more attuned to the possibilities of what the shaft represents in terms of furthering our understanding in the money pit. It was a day full of possibilities, and the Oak Island adventure took an unexpected and thrilling turn. The team was eager to dig deeper into the mystery of the money pit. Now, this treasure zone in DN 11.5 wasn't your everyday spot. It was like hitting a jackpot. Think of it as a place with lots of gold air pockets, and empty spaces. And believe it or not, they even gave it a name based on its coordinates. Coconut fiber was found as in a huge layer out 500 feet from the money pit, and the earlier explorers found that the reason it flooded when they tried to get to the bottom of it is because there was a flood tunnel. So, Rick gathered his team to discuss the latest happenings. The burning question on everyone's minds was, What's up with this incredible discovery in the Oak Island money pit? Well, it's not what you'd expect. According to Mike Tedford's report, when he drilled about 90 feet deep, he felt the rods break through something. It was like whatever it was disappeared into an empty space just 1.5 feet away from his reach. Picture the joy and excitement they experienced at that moment. They were over the moon. But that's where things start to get really interesting. Terry noticed that the DN 11.5, DN 12.5, and DN 13.5 coordinates perfectly aligned east-west. And guess what? They might be part of a structure lurking 94 feet beneath the surface. DN 12.5 and DN 13.5 were also in on this alignment game. So. The burning question on everyone's minds was, did they accidentally come across another part of this structure? And could this be connected to the gold they found nearby? It was all about joining the dots and figuring out if Terry's guess was right. And you know what? The scientific proof was pointing in the right direction. Actually led the way in terms of trying to look at the island as a whole was Mr. Blankenship. He personally thought that the money pit was perhaps a decoy, but here's the thing. They couldn't just trust their gut feeling to prove their idea. They needed more research. As they went further into the island, they found themselves more and more confused by the island's mysterious past. The thought of accidentally discovering a hidden tunnel, maybe even deep at the very bottom of the pit, made their excitement levels go through the roof. They knew they were on the brink of something big, a discovery that could change everything. We could be close to the actual treasure. We've got a little bit of time to pull it all together, and we're going to work together to do that. That's where we are right now. I'm hopeful. They had been eagerly waiting for that aha moment, you know. That mind-blowing realization that could completely change their perspective. They were not ready to give up firmly believing that the answers they were looking for had been right in front of them all this time. With each step they took, they felt like they were getting closer to solving the island's mysteries. That when we go down in the shaft, our senses will be more attuned to the possibilities of what the shaft represents in terms of furthering our understanding in the money pit and digging up treasures that had been asleep for decades maybe even centuries. We've got the XRF results from DN 11.5. Oh, good. This definitely appears to be a tunnel, and it sure points towards the garden shaft. It wasn't just the team excitedly waiting for the next big breakthrough. Rick, Marty, Laird Niven, and the archaeometallurgy expert Emma Culligan put on an interesting show at the Oak Island Interpretive Center. The people gathered there hungry for knowledge about Oak Island's history, had that unmistakable look of excitement on their faces. They were all waiting for the eagerly expected scientific report, the moment where all their hard work would finally pay off and open the last door. They had been so eagerly looking forward to finally arrived. The tension in the room was noticeable. As the group gathered, a mix of nerves and hope hung in the air. Everyone was eager to hear the much-anticipated findings. The XRF analysis of DN 11.5 came back. And guess what? The results were exactly what they were hoping for. Emma, 
the expert in archaeometallurgy, made an exciting conclusion based on her research. The structure they had found was, without a doubt, a tunnel. To dig deeper into this thrilling discovery, they were ready to examine more evidence. So, what did they do next? Me, personally, you have to go back to the original story. And the original story is the money pit. They carefully looked at a piece of dried wood from the passageway using an X-ray spectrometer. And what do you know? Emma found traces of the typical materials found on Oak Island. Iron, manganese, titanium, calcium, potassium, and aluminium. She studied the results thoroughly, leaving no stone unturned. But here's where it gets interesting. They came across an unexpected discovery, gold. When they realized that the piece of wood they were analyzing had traces of this precious metal, they couldn't contain their excitement. The team had to ask Emma directly if the presence of gold was a weird thing in the results. With a little laugh, Emma confirmed that, yes, Gold was indeed an unusual element in the findings she was sharing. As they delved deeper into the sample analysis, they made a jaw-dropping discovery. The amount of gold in it was around 0.04% of the total weight. Can you believe it? So all those are expected materials from our oak island. We have a lot of iron, manganese, titanium, calcium, potassium aluminium. So these are all common things. Those are all what I would expect. Centuries ago, a group of young people found something unsettling while digging on the island off the coast of Nova Scotia. They came upon stones and wooden planks that looked like they were made by humans. This discovery gave them hope, especially since it was the time when pirates were sailing the seas and everyone dreamt of finding buried treasure. Their digging adventure continued and they kept finding more planks that seemed to be hiding some mysterious secret. They used their hands to dig for about 30 feet, but eventually they decided to stop. Surprisingly, others took over the task, and every 10 feet they ventured, they discovered strange platforms and unusual objects. Now here comes the spooky part, so brace yourselves. As they went deeper into their dig, around 90 feet down, they found a stone with weird carvings. The real shocker was when they found a trap, a booby-trapped shaft leading to a foot tunnel that went all the way to the ocean. The big question on their minds was, why would someone set up a trap to send someone into the deep ocean? Was this a wicked plan by a person, or did it somehow connect to the supposed curse on the island? We have looked at every one of those places, but not in a definitive sense. I mean, after we got the map, we went and looked at every one of those spots to see if there's something obvious. Now we have to look for the non-obvious. What other hidden mysteries were still waiting to be uncovered on this mysterious island? People who love solving historical mysteries have been hooked on the ongoing discoveries of the Oak Island expedition. The team was super excited about the progress they hoped to make in digging up the money pit area with the dream of finally finding the treasure that had fascinated generations. With each scoop and retrieval, they held their breath, hoping for the next big breakthrough. One of the most thrilling moments was when they found gold in the water, hinting that gold might have been put into the money pit. As they kept digging, they found pieces of wood scattered around and a big iron fastener that seemed to be from the 1700s or maybe even earlier. This promising discovery made them think they were getting closer to the money pit, but just when it seemed like they were making progress, they hit bedrock at around 130 feet in the before sea shaft. This hit the team pretty hard because they really wanted to keep digging and find that treasure. But here's the thing, they didn't let this setback bring them down. Nope. They stayed positive. They believed that using new technologies and coming up with smart ideas could help them make progress in the future. Even though they had dug five massive steel shafts in the money pit area over the past few months, finding the treasure was still a tough challenge. Now we have singularly unique results from the application of that concept in two different modems, if you will, in the wood and in the water. That's fantastic. This quest had puzzled treasure hunters for more than 200 years. The team knew they had to keep up with the times, so they decided to use new technologies and come up with fresh strategies to tackle the challenges in their way. They were determined to keep searching for the treasure, 
holding on to the hope that all their hard work and determination would pay off, for a special group of people. Finding the money pit on Oak Island meant more than just discovering treasure, it was all about solving the mysteries and puzzles of a place that had fascinated people's minds for centuries.